So I want to take a little bit of time. I want to keep this video as short as possible because I think it's just one of the really cool things that your CAS calculator can do. Um, and you'll find a, a way to use it in this way. You could use it on the SAT. You could certainly use it in college, uh, college algebra, college trig, uh, or any kind of optimization course that you would be taking. So here, find the area of a triangle with the given vertices. And I want to do this through using uh, matrix operations. And what actually we're going to use today is called the determinant. It's called the determinant. And I'm not going to teach you how to the, the way to do this by hand because it's a pain in the neck. But this can be used on any square matrix, this, this type of work. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to find the area of a triangle with the given vertices. And, they, and our triangle has the vertices the point zero 0.01, the point 0.27, and the point 0.55. So this is what we're going to do. Let's see how quickly we can do this. We're trying to find this area. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to build a matrix. So I'm going to build a matrix. You're going to go to menu here. When you go to menu, we're going to bring you here. Matrix and, and uh, vectors. I'm going to create it. Create create a matrix. And then it's going to just ask you these questions. And we're going to make a 3 by 3. So 3 by 3. And then we're going to start to build our matrix. And our matrix will look like this, right? So we're going to build our matrix. And it would be 0, 1. Because that's the first point, isn't it? They're all going to be followed in the last column by 1s. The next point was the point 27, wasn't it? 2, 7, right? And remember, the last column is going to be filled with 1s. I'm going to go to here. The last point that they gave us was the point 5. 5 was the last vertex of our, of our triangle. And now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type in D-E-T, determinant. I'm going to open these parentheses. Close the parentheses here. And I wonder if I can just multiply the whole thing by, yeah, I'm going to do it that times 0.5. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it says that our area is negative 10. If you remember the very beginning when we talked about this, it said plus or minus, didn't it? We know that area is not going to be negative here, so you would just change that value. So the area of that triangle is 10. So how fast did we do that? And it's just one more of the really cool things you can do. The best way to use this calculator is to use this calculator to kind of goof around and learn how to do stuff. You can't figure it out on the go. There's no way that you're going to have time to figure this out um, as you work on a quiz or a test or the SAT. All right, so I hope this is helpful. If there's something else you want to know about with this calculator, can you let me know? Give me a comment and it will give me, oh, frankly, something to do. All right.